In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five 3D steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this uh, 3D type and you can add your title here. And when I click my first step comes, you can see here I've added this kind of a 3D shelf with the icon and the shadow of it. And then you can add your option number and the detailed text. When I click with different color, it will show you the option two, then the option three, option four, and option five and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the basic arrows i'm going to choose this one uh, which is the arrow pentagon draw the arrow something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape will you can give any light color any light color light gray color then go to rotate i can rotate left 90 degrees then drag this one here and then make sure that it is stretch to full slide and then you can just reduce the width you can see here like this the height you can reduce it now i'm going to draw two more rectangles go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle here like this shape outline no outline and send this to back and then right mouse click go to format shape I'm going to give some gradient fill. Gradient fill, I'm going to use maybe two colors or three colors. So here I'm using a full transparency to zero here also because I have used, that's the reason it is showing like this. So this color, I'm going to give somewhat gray and here I'm going to give some light gray color, two color combinations. You can give it more light also, some more light like this. All right, and then you can change the direction how you want this particular uh the shadow should be the effect should be so and then this looks more darker for me let me just go to more colors i can just reduce the you can see here something like this all right and then i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to cover this one and send this to back now this time i'm going to make it more lighter color more light color you can see here it is more light so that we can see the difference there all right so maybe more lighter like this all right and make sure that this is properly aligned otherwise there will be a gap something gap will be there okay now once this is done let me just remove the guides okay so it looks something like this kind of a 3d uh, wall kind of thing okay now i'm going to add the shelf now depending on your requirement if you want you can increase this height like this or you can just reduce it further maybe till this much so it's up to you how much you want and then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select this diamond shape draw the diamond shape maybe this much size so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice and then go to the effects let me just go to the 3d rotation and you can see the presets here i'm going to choose maybe this one which is the perspective relax moderately just click it like this and then go to the 3d format go to the depth increase the depth maybe i'm going to make it maybe 15 so i'm going to place it one here press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add one here again press ctrl d i'm going to add one more here again one more control d i'm adding one more here okay and one more control d so depending on your requirement you can add as many you want for example i want like this okay let me just move it somewhat up this is somewhat down like this and then i'm going to select this one align you can make it left also and this one this two only so if you want you can just drag this somewhat down 
and this one here like this and again this one i can make it align left now depending on the requirement you can just change any color of your choice you can see here i'm just changing the color according to my requirement so any color you can just choose all right and then we need to add the shadow effect to add the shadow effect go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle let me just zoom in so here from this end till here i'm going to make it one rectangle okay maybe this much shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to select the gradient fill here for gradient fill one i'm going to choose more of a black and the direction make it at the top like this and this one i can make it somewhat transparent and here i'm going to choose maybe a very light color or white color and make it fully transparent all right and this one a little bit depending on your requirement and let me just pull like this and then just send this to back so if you see here my shadow effect looks like this so i'm going to press ctrl d i'm going to add this one here ctrl d now from this one this side you have to add it again ctrl d add it here and the last one add this side here then i'm going to choose this the diamond shapes let me just choose the diamond shapes only all right and bring to front so you can see here uh, the diamond shape the shadow effect is visible now if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert click on icons or if you have the icons you can just download from your pc also so i'm just going to randomly select five different icons any icons depending on your requirement so i'm just choosing uh, five different icons all right bring it here i'm going to fill the color with white and the height maybe i'm going to use 0.8 all right and then this one i'm going to put it here the second one here the th this one the idea should be the first one this one will come here and this one will be something like this okay now i'm just going to give some shadow effect for this select this go to the effects shadow presets scroll it down you can see this perspective which is upper left like this and you can increase the distance if you want and this one i'm going to choose this is which one the perspective right all right and then you can just change the distance and then once this is done you can add the option number here so option number one zero one i'm going to choose open sans or any other font of your choice and then give somewhat gray color all right so not that dark maybe this is okay so this is one press ctrl d so i'm going to add you can see here press ctrl d for this and the last one all right so this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five all right then you can go to insert text box you can add detailed text equals lorem within bracket one i got this text i don't want this long text i'm cutting it short right aligned reduce the size change the font okay and then i'm just going to duplicate this and then just paste it next to the option now this time i'm going to make it right align sorry left align and then that's it so you can see here you can add your title also here or if you want you can add more options by reducing the size and if you want to do some basic animation you can do the animation now let's do some simple animation close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to choose this one first add animation you can go to more entrance effects and i can just click on the strips you can see here click ok and the strips should come from right down like this 
all right and then i'm going to select this one for this one i'm going to use the wipe wipe effect make it from the top and this should happen after previous and then this one i'm going to add maybe again the wipe or the basic zoom whatever for example i can just select basic zoom also like this and this should happen with previous or if you want you can just choose the same effect which is wipe and for this text i can just group it press ctrl g to group it add animation more and then i can select the stretch stretch click it from right and this should happen maybe after previous so if i play when i click it comes something like this all right so it's very easy for me using the animation painter i'm just going to click on this one now this one this should happen from like this all right then this one will be the same this also will remain the same and then the stretch i'm going to select and instead of this one i have to select first of all i need to group this one let me just group it Control g and let's add the animation again and this one i'm going to make it from left all right so if you see here it comes something like this all right so you can do the remaining animation for these options